As summer temperatures soar, staying cool amidst the heat is a challenge many are facing. Local organizations play a critical role in offering a lifeline to those most vulnerable in sweltering conditions. Um, we've been here about two and a half, three weeks um, out here on the streets of Great Falls. Um, it's, getting, it's getting hot. On the corner of Central Avenue West and 3rd Street, you may find some Great Falls residents cooling off in the shade. You know, most of us aren't trying to sit here and be out here for a lifetime. You know, we have a situation kind of like ours getting dropped here. Um, and I think there needs to be more resources. Local organizations and shelters are stepping up their efforts, opening their doors as cooling centers and distributing essential supplies. But we've always had the the uh, the adage to if somebody comes in seeking you know a glass of water or a bottle of water or something like that we we try and take care of anybody and everybody that comes through the doors. Most of the shelters are full because of the the uh, lack of having enough people to accommodate more. Um, uh, there are good people in this community that that uh, that band together. I personally think there should be a little bit more. Volunteers play a crucial role as the heat wave grips the region, though more assistance is necessary in meeting demand. They just need to help the little small areas with donations and generosity there um, a little bit more, if, like volunteer work. If they could do a little bit more volunteer work, maybe um, they'd be able to open one more day at the uh, Angel Room, you know what I'm saying, just to help out, you know. You know, anybody that wants to help, we have ways that you can donate online or mail a check to the rescue mission at PO Box 129. Um, we're feeling the crunch, but uh, we're maintaining and we're going to keep on maintaining and, and keep doing what we're doing. To get involved, find out more on our website. In Great Falls, Brianna Juno, MTN News.